Hi, this is Matt with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we'll be showing you how to repair your appliance. Remember, anytime you work on an appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. In this video, we're going to show you how to change out the Maytag dishwasher dispenser assembly. It's going to be a very easy repair and should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can click on the link below or get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. When you open up the package, you're going to get the new dispenser assembly. The dispenser assembly is where you put the detergent and the rinse aid. The main reason you'll be changing it out is if it's failed and it's not dispensing. In order to get to the part, we have to open up the dishwasher door. Now that we have the door open, we can use the Torque 15 driver to take out the screws that hold the outer panel on. Once you have all the screws out, you can close the door. The outer panel should drop down. If it doesn't, you can just pull down on a little bit. And we're going to pull it away from the control panel and lift it off the door. Once you have it off, you can set it aside. Now that we have the outer door panel off, we have access to the dispenser assembly. It's right here behind the shield. We're just going to lift this shield up to get it out of the way. And we're going to put a little piece of tape on it to hold it out of the way so it doesn't get in our way while we're taking the screws out. Once you have it taped up out of the way, we can use the small flathead screwdriver to help remove the wiring harness. It's just plugged into the solenoid here. There's a little locking tab we're just going to release so we can get the wire harness out. Once you have it disconnected, you can just set the wire aside. And then we can use our 3 16 inch nut driver to take out all the screws that hold the dispenser assembly on. Once you have all the screws out, you can lift the bracket off. Once you have the bracket off, we're going to take the shield off from the little hook right here. You just have to lift it off to get it out of the way. And then there's a locking tab on the top and the bottom that we have to release. We're going to use a small flathead screwdriver to get underneath them and release them. As you lift up on it, you want to push in on the dispenser a little bit. As you release this one, you want to hold on to the dispenser so it doesn't fall into the dishwasher. And we can open up the door a little bit and reach in and grab it. Once you have it free, you can pull it out of the dishwasher. Here's the old dispenser assembly next to the new one. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. Before you put the new dispenser assembly into the door, you want to make sure you clean the area where it sits so it gets a good seal. Once you have it clean and dry, we can put the new dispenser assembly in. You want to make sure the solenoids towards the outside of the door. We can set it into place and snap it in. Once you have it snapped into place, we can close the door. Now that we have the door closed, we can hook the shield onto the new dispenser. Just going to pull it down and hook it over the tab. Once you have it in place, we can put the bracket back on. You want to make sure it goes over the shield so we can line up the screw holes when we put the screws in. Once you have it in place, we can grab the 3 16 inch nut driver and put the screws in. We're not going to tighten these screws down all the way. We're going to get all the screws started just in case we have to move the bracket around. We can tighten them all down once we have them in. Once you have all the screws in, we can go back and tighten them all down. Now that we have all the screws in, we can connect the wire harness to the solenoid. It can only go in one way, so let's line it up and push it in. Once you have the wire harness connected, we can take the tape off and let the shield drop down. And then we can put the front panel back on. When you put the front panel on, you want to make sure that the lip of the panel here goes behind this bracket on each side. Once you have it in place, we're just going to push it up onto the door and then open up the door. 
and you want to hold on to the door panel as you lower it down and then you can slide it up so it goes into the control panel and the screw holes line up. Once you have it in place we can use the Torque 15 driver to put the screws in. Once you have all the screws in, we can close the dishwasher door, plug it back in, and take it for a spin. Thanks for joining us for another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. Check out our other repair videos on our site, Facebook, and YouTube.